Welcome back to the library, dear wanderers. Today, we're going to head back to the library wing one, the hidden nest, and over not to King Shash's shelf, for we have finished that, but to the first oak's shelf. The oldest among the trees in the nest, many a wanderer has sought advice from its roots, stretching as they do through the ways and into the untapped cosmos, and every so often with a creaking of wood and a burst of green, an answer will spill forth from its ancient lips. Now, let's pick up the first work we see. This one, a short poem brought to the library by Claus the Closet. Now, without further ado, A Damsel Fly Nymph's First Love. On a sweet water lily over black rivers, a wasp sat. Her yellow pattern a maze without. Walls kept tricking my sight as I swam through my feelings. With flattering disgust, her compound eyes injected bitterness into my present. Then she flew away in search of black and red grapes with a buzz that separated the water. Then I continued my journey over the cold mud and the dull aquatic ferns. As I always say when we come across short poetry, it was a lovely little poem. Next will be a short work, this one from the Wanderer's Station. It was brought to the library by Sebaris. Now without further ado, let's begin. Definitely itching. Jay Humbert dreamed that he was floating in space. He couldn't feel his body. In fact, he wasn't sure if it existed anymore. He was saddened by this, but nevertheless felt at peace. Then there was a tug in the same place where his chest would be, reminding him of some distant reality. A reality where there was something more than just emptiness. What this something was, he couldn't remember. Then the tug got stronger, and he was awakened with an itching on his chest. He scratched it, and it passed. He stayed there for a while, just laying, slightly disappointed by the sensation of having a body. Eventually, he got up, however, and walked up to the window of his suite, scratching his head. He watched the colorful humanoids going about their business on the streets below, under a purple morning sky, in awe, that he was on an actual alien planet. He had been sent to Kratos, the planet of the Whoremongers, by the Starfall Trading Company as a negotiator for possible trade routes between the Pharanax and Milky Way galaxies. The company had paid for a week in the Serenity Resort, one of the most luxurious hotels in the Misty Mountains. The food was amazing, the bed was soft, and the robotic staff, made to look like whatever race they were serving, were very hospitable, even though their forced smiles and dead eyes were slightly terrifying. The hotel also had a load of activities and services, which Jay had taken full advantage of. Most recently, he had had a message just before going to bed last night. He got dressed and walked through the lavish corridors, then descending the large set of stairs to the dining hall for breakfast. In the dining hall, he spotted a dream, another human Jay had befriended during his stay. Walking towards her, he couldn't help but notice that she was itching violently. Are you having an allergic reaction? he asked while sitting down next to him. Maybe. I think this has something to do with the massage I had a couple of days ago. 
It was absolutely wonderful, though. I almost felt like my body didn't even exist during it, she said. They talked for a while, but their conversation was cut short by Andreen suddenly grabbing her stomach and vomiting on the floor. What came out of her mouth, however, was not vomit, rather than a liquid hole in space. It was black like the night sky, with specks of white in it like stars. The previously puddle, now hole, pulled at Jay's mind, like it wanted him to dive in it. He was, however, distracted from this feeling by Adrien, who sprinted past him towards the stairwell leading to the rooms. Jane followed her all the way to her room, where she had left the door ajar. At first he didn't see her, but there was a strange low hum filling the air around him, which got stronger with every step. When he looked into the bathroom, what he saw was no longer a dream. In her place was another hole in space, this one shaped like a human woman suspended in midair. It resonated with an eerie melody, and a strange energy radiated from it, making all the hairs on Jay's body stand up. He had the chance to look at it for only a few seconds, however, before it folded into itself repeatedly and disappeared. Then... Jay felt something. He was definitely itching. Void Massage Our massage therapists, specially trained in void magic, will provide you with a unique out-of-body experience that will relax all of your muscles by temporarily making them non-existent. Serenity Resort Incorporated is not responsible for possible cases of insanity, dematerialization, or spontaneous planar travel to the darkness between realms. And that's all the time we have for today, dear wanderers. Apologies for the short reading, but I'm trying to get stuff done for next week, and hopefully it's done in time. If not, then perhaps later. But... Thank you very much for coming, dear wanderers. Next time will be longer either way. And make sure that you get something good to eat. Your journeys through the library can be long and tiring, and you must make sure to keep yourself full of energy for what's ahead. Good luck.